Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is kind of different. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen the company Dote. They're all over YouTube. Dote is an online shopping app where it's essentially like a mobile mall where they have tons of your favorite stores all in one app. So you can shop from Free People, Urban, Sephora, H&M, Nasty Gal, you know, they have like every single. And I wanted to make a video about the founder of the company, Lauren. If you've seen Shark Tank, they'll basically invest some money in to own a part of their company, but only 2% of the billions of dollars uh, went to female founders, which I just thought was kind of crazy. So I really just wanted to make a video about one of these female founders, how they did it, where they are, what it's like. So I just went to the office, filmed them, interviewed the employees. Let's get into the video. I'm Lauren Farley. I am the co-founder and CEO of Dope. Dote is a social shopping app. We partner with over 140 mainstream brands and make them entirely one-tap shoppable from our phone. And we also create a social commerce experience that brings shopping to life on your phone. So Lauren grew up in Alaska. They didn't have you know, a mall she could go to for back to school shopping, so she became a catalog shopper from day one. I moved out to San Francisco. I worked at this mobile gaming company and saw kind of that industry move from being desktop based to mobile and create really big businesses on mobile. And I knew the same thing would happen with shopping. She imagined Dote and the first iteration was super different than the iterations you see now. So this is like the very first like baby version of Dote when it was first introduced. So if you see here are your stores and here's a like a Tinder layout for Dote where it was like swipe right, swipe left kind of thing just to add to your favorites. This is like humble beginning stuff like this is like built in your garage kind of stuff. The emotional part of the beginning where like you don't have any validation, no one believes in you, everyone thinks you're stupid <laughs> for doing it. You like constantly have to put yourself out there. And Lauren was basically the designer for the team for a long time. You know, she just figured out how to use Sketch and just started designing screens. I used to stand outside of malls with my prototype and ask people to like, give me feedback on it. I mean, it was just this incredible display of uh, grit. Well, the first thing I noticed was her energy is insane. It's awesome. I'm like, you inspire me to go like hustle hard and you just have this way about you that makes, I, th I think everyone feel pretty at ease, but yet like I want to get stuff done. For my first year of starting Dote, I would just like, I would have like a mental breakdown every Sunday. I would like start crying. My boyfriend would be like, what's wrong with you? Like we're supposed to go out to dinner and I'd be like, I'm fine, I'm fine. So then I realized that like, I got to do something because this is happening every Sunday. Even though it's about a different thing every time, I like knew it was just the Sunday scary. So um, I go to a movie every single Sunday night because it's just, takes my mind off of it, and then I go to bed, and then I wake up, and I'm like ready to go. When Lauren was raising the uh, Series A round for Dote, um, she decided to go on this show, Planet of the Apps, and it was like a game show for startups, where you pitch your idea to four judges, um, and then in the end, if you make it through, you get to pitch to VCs. Welcome to Planet of the Apps. And he said, do you know any consumer mobile app companies that would want to apply? I just replied to Michael and I was like, ha ha ha, no way. Like, I am so not the type that would ever be able to be on a TV show. Hi, my name is Lauren Farley and I'm the founder and CEO of Dote Shopping. We have 130 stores in the app and have 100,000 monthly active I started thinking about it and I was like, you know, it is a really big opportunity. I'm super out of my comfort zone, but I think that it would be worth it, especially because Apple was the one who was doing the show. What sort of firm do you think would do 5 million at 30 with 11% ownership in a Series A? Do you think you can get a top tier Silicon Valley venture capital firm to do that? And the first filming was definitely the scariest because you had to like pitch to Jessica Alba and Gwyneth Paltrow and Will I Am and stuff. And like they had this crazy moving elevator and we didn't know that that's what would happen until the night before. I think, I think that I understand the way that you're thinking about it. And I think the 20% ownership target is 
right. But 16 million still doesn't get us there. Uh, I think like the really cool thing about that is like that's such an out of the box like way to raise a Series A. So I went in just asking for $500,000. Um, she ended up taking home the biggest check of any startup on that show, which is really exciting. And then they came in with a $5 million offer, um, which is crazy. We think you're amazing. It's a pretty fascinating business. You're the authentic founder who understands what her customer wants. Well, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate kind of everything that you guys just said. And um, obviously, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm like, so sweet. I feel like a person's relationship with fear is like one of the most defining things of their life. And I think that there's like most people see fear and they think, oh, I should go the other way. Like that signal means I shouldn't do that. Self-doubt is definitely part of the process. I don't know one person on this planet who has not doubted themselves, especially in trying to achieve their dreams or um, trying to accomplish something that doesn't even exist yet. And I think that when really interesting things start happening is when you just use fear as like an attention grabber and then you decide, right? It's that you say, okay, I'm scared of that. Why am I scared? What's the real like cost benefit here? Should I do it anyway? And lots of times I think, you know, you should. Most entrepreneurs that I know are not people that let fear control them, but that doesn't mean that they don't have fear. Because it's such open space and everybody, she treats everyone as an equal. And um, I think that's what's really impeccable about her. I think Lauren knows that, you know, people, the right people, the people that she, you know, decides to bring onto the team and that we as a team, when we make a new hire, we all, we always, we talk about it. These decisions are never made like unilaterally. This team that Lauren's built allows for is just the very best ideas being the ones that we act on and being the ones that drive the ship. I feel like sometimes you read things about entrepreneurs that say, oh, you shouldn't have any doubts because if you have doubts, then like no one will join you or like who would invest if you have doubts. And it's like, that's bullshit, you know? Like everyone has doubts all the time. I don't know, I think it's just about like facing them and then deciding if it's something you want to let impact your behavior or not. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's like the first one I've made of this documentary style, but I really wanna make more like these. So if you have anyone you want me to make a video like this about or just any comments, leave them down below because I'm definitely gonna read them all. But yeah, hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye.